To create a reinforcer coil to go around the area where we connected two pinch pots together to make something like a clay animal, we're going to need a block of clay that's about this size. We also are going to need to clear our workspace so we have plenty of room to roll our coil upward. So about two feet of the black top of the table. So push everything out of your way. You're going to take your clay, hold it the wide way, and you're going to push down with your thumbs on those creases to try to round the clay into a cylinder. We can even take it in our palm and kind of rotate like this, squeezing the clay into a cylinder. If your hands feel dry or if the clay isn't sticking to your hands, take a little bit of your slip or water and just put it on your hands. Next, we're gonna roll a little bit in our hands. We wanna even it out. And you can also continue just paddling it with your fingers and thumbs, pushing down on any of the parts that feel raised or bumpy. Once it elongates a little bit, we can place it on the table. And when we roll, we're gonna roll from our fingertips all the way to our wrist, making sure your clay makes full revolutions each time. If we roll back and forth only, it's going to flatten the clay. Okay, so push the clay back into a cylinder. If you feel that flat tire feeling, like when you're rolling it, it's going du -du 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 You want to stop, push your clay back into a cylinder, tap it on the tall sides, and then begin rolling again. You can roll with two hands when it gets long enough. Push down only where you feel the clay is a little thicker. If you get thinner parts of your coil, avoid those parts. Because this is a reinforcer coil and it's not gonna be hanging off the edge of our project, we can go a little thinner than our pinky. We don't quite need it to be pinky thick. And if your coil breaks when you're making it, that's really fine because we're probably not gonna need this whole coil anyway. So just take whatever is your longest piece of your coil and that's what we're going to use when we attach it onto our animal body. Okay, so first thing, let's measure how much of this coil do we need and remove the excess that you don't need. Okay, so that's about how much coil, and this even might be more than I need. I can put this aside and make sure I put it onto a damp cloth so that it doesn't dry out on me or maybe offer it up to someone else who also needs a coil. Okay, so remember whenever we attach clay, we need to remember the triplets. We need to score, slip, and blend. So the first of those triplets is to score the clay. We take our wood stick or a nail tool or something that you may have that's sharp. Even a fork, plastic fork sometimes works for this. And you're just gonna scratch crisscross lines in the area that you're gonna be attaching the clay. So now I know that we attach these pinch pots somewhere around the middle. So that's where I'm making my score marks. If you can still see where you blended the two pinch pots together, then go right along that seam. Now I'm gonna score my coil using those crisscross lines, sometimes like cross hatching or X's. Go all the way down to the end of your coil. Okay, and then the next of the triplets is to add your slip. Okay, so score and then slip. Put a little bit of that water clay mixture where your score marks are. Don't overdo it doesn't need to be drenched it just needs a little bit of moisture and then same with the coil a little bit of the water then we're going to make sure that the score marks are facing one another and I like to kind of press down the middle of the coil first and then work my way to the end I'm probably going to have some extra that I don't need so the little excess I can just kind of pinch off and put off to the side in my scrap clay pile Okay, now the last of the triplets is to blend. So I'm gonna blend some up, some down or side to side, depending on how you're holding it. And eliminating all of the evidence that we attached this reinforcer coil. If you get little crumbs of clay, you can either put them in your scrap pile, or if they're small enough, you can put them in your slip bucket to try to get our slip to start becoming a mud. All right, spend a little extra time kind of blending and smoothing where you attached 
the coil onto your animal's body. Now we are ready for the next step.